here uh, we will be doing the um, we will, will make changes in the header so we go to the layout and we have number so inside the number instead of we say flow by we will say and note shop okay so this is our note shop and the button is get started instead of get started we will say log in or register or something like this yeah we can say get started so which means that they can log in or register and okay so for the get started after that i will leave home and i will leave home about so i will delete the the rest home okay and then get started here we go our get started so like we like we did in the app we have to check the user is logging or not using the user login register so const user login register and then uh, we have to use selector and then we will have state state dot user login register so we got the user info from there So uh, if we got that information, what we can do is we can validate. Okay, so we can validate. Um, we can validate. Yeah, we can validate. If the user info is not, we would say get started. Uh, Where is get started? Yes, this one. Okay. Um, Main menu. Okay. If it did, uh, if it did, if it did in mobile view, yeah. If it in mobile view is open main menu is um here, okay. So if it did not in mobile view, yeah, it is not there. It is for that. So I would say. user info is there if the user info is here so uh, if the user info is not there by doing using you know that is combination in front of the value that you want to validate it means that not there we will be showing get started here button as we will, we will be showing uh, right now is for example no g or ut logout okay so it will be locked out so when i go here you see lock out because we have the value data inside the storage if i delete that value uh, let's say if i delete so there is no data here with the user info uh, that should be changed here let me go and check there no okay session story inside the get story mm, might be it's not working that way uh, user in four okay get started or log out if it is not let me check if the user info is there I would like to make reverse get started okay so it's it's working there okay no problem so um, what I will do here I will go and find TIL T1 CSS uh, flow by FMW flow by we go to the flow by and we're trying to find the 
component drop down yeah so we should uh, we can use that one yeah so I will copy and import draw down okay component so use client so I will copy and I will create the draw down component here inside the here d d r d r o b d o w and dot g s x so inside here so we can reuse that component so i would say uh user user d l b d d o w n okay user draw down so inside the netbar uh, if the user info is not there we will say get started um, if it here I would say uh, user oops, user drop down okay so so um, when we say uh, we should go to the link we should using the link and then we will say true the uh, register okay to register so let me go and check so as you see we have our drop down so uh, drop down button inside the drop down button we can make changes like a uh, label say um, like a label say okay for example here is like name of the user or something yeah we'll finally profile and sign out we will say profile and sign out yeah it's user okay so we will say user okay so if i click profile and sign out is there so that's perfect that's totally perfect and image okay so uh, right now um, if I click on the profile and sign out it's totally fine so I would like to text here okay so if I go if I get started it should redirect me to the uh, register but we have already assigned if it is user information is there we will redirect to the home page so that's why we cannot go there yeah no problem so that's totally fine and we will work in the logout function so for the logout we have to write the another function here the logout handler const uh, log out h e n d l e r handler with the arrow function key inside it we would dispatch dispatch uh, user logout action no uh, yes is it T I O N action we just call that function so for the dispatch we have to create the um, dispatch variable D I S P A T C H use D I S B A T C H from the re reality. Okay, so we can call this function when we click on the uh, click on the logout. So I will pass that uh, logout function into the user drop down component. So we created the handler, logout handler. So we will pass the logout handler using the uh, like this. We will pass through the user drop down component as a parameter here so to pass the parameter user log out user logout handler so user logout handler so i would say logout handler yeah to make everything the same logout handler so we can make here on click on click logout handler so let's check and uh, sign out yes so if it is sign out 
we are in the login page if it, i go register yeah we can go into the register page and the data web where inside the local story will be deleted here so I, I will show you again so we will log in with the user in the password one two three four five seven eight if i submit um i haven't finished for the login sorry my bad so we will go and do right now so we go into the page login so for the login we have to do the same thing uh like register we do i will show you uh like register with 10 so here we can copy email and the password okay so i will copy email and the password i, will, I don't need the name so email and the password so here will be value equal email and the on chain so on chain will be set email E dot target dot value oops free a l u e value so this will be value of email and the password we will say password p a s s w r d and target of value set password so uh, after that in in the form tag we have to uh, submit our value so i would say con user login register and then view selector sorry it's my dog uh selector state state dot user login register so uh inside the register we define loading error user info so here user login register so we got our uh, loading error and user info there then we can say dispatch b a t c h use dispatch then uh, we can create our submit handler uh, submit handler with the E dot prevent P R E V N D D E F A U L T the four and then dispatch the user login action. So we will pass our email and the password. So um, we can submit that through the on submit. Then for the loading error and user info, uh, we can do the same thing like register. If it is loading, we will show the loading and the if it is error, we will show error. And the rest will be our UI. So I will say like this. Inside, I will copy the UI and the paste. So loading. Return We have our Oops, sorry, uh, this is my fault. So we should have our layout outside of that. So layout will be outside of that. I would copy again. So this one and the yep and inside this we will have our form so i will use the react opening and closing tag inside this i would paste my form so uh, that's it pretty much about the okay, we will import use state here so use state from the react and the user info we, we can delete for now we don't need so uh for the login this is pretty much about it so we can go and test a uh, user and then submit i can delete uh, remember me because we don't use that value if you wish to use you can create the uh, 
uh, database for that and the, 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 the yeah so I will delete this div okay so user and then submit you see we got our home page and the user information is there if I sign up it will re uh, return back to the login page if I submit I will show you uh, in our application look at story we have nothing so as you see user info is there if I delete it's delete there and it's go back here so I want to show you something like this so this is pretty much about the user authentication later on we will be doing the um, add to card and you know so on so let's see in the next video thank you